All right, question number 10 on the Math 1105 final exam review wants me to find the distance between the two ordered pairs, negative 3, 5, and negative 6, negative 2. So, of course, that would be the length of the line segment connecting those, having those as endpoints. Best way to do this, let's take the first point. Let's take the ordered pair negative 3, 5, and let's label it x sub 1, y sub 1, meaning the x coordinate of point 1, the y coordinate of point 1. And let's take the second ordered pair negative 6, negative 2, and label it accordingly, only we'll call it x sub 2, y sub 2, meaning the x coordinate of point 2 and the y coordinate of point 2. Now, what we need to recall from memory, and this is a good thing for you to make a little flashcard on, we need to recall the distance formula. If I let D represent the distance between those two points, that's what I mean by D, the distance formula says to take the, the square root, big old square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So now it's simply a matter of plugging in and not messing up on arithmetic. x sub 2 is a negative 6. This minus comes from the formula. x sub 1 is a negative 3. That quantity is squared plus y sub 2 is a negative 2, minus comes from the formula, and y sub 1 is 5, and that quantity is being squared. And now all we have to do is work correctly with the arithmetic. Okay, inside here, look what happens. The minus minus opposite of a negative becomes a plus. So that leaves me with a negative 3 quantity squared. Inside here, negative 2 minus 5 is a negative 7 quantity squared. Notice we still have the radical. Negative 3 quantity squared is 9. Negative 7 quantity squared is 49, and this becomes the square root of 58. Now, what you look for whenever your answer has a square root in it is you look to see if there's a way to simplify this further. But 58 does not have any perfect squares that come out of it. Um, you know, you would look always to see if you could break up the radical by extracting as many perfect squares from under, or you're the largest perfect square from under it as you can. The reason you don't go to your calculator and punch this answer in is because then you're approximating the answer. And this problem didn't ask you to approximate, it just said find the distance, which implies the exact distance. Therefore, the square root of 58 is our correct and final answer. So you need to make sure that the distance formula, d equals the square root of quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared is part of your repertoire. Got to have that in your brains, guys.